Lesson 1.4, Mental Math Strategies for Addition. Count by tens and ones to find the sum. Use the number line to show your thinking. Number one, 29 plus 14. The problem has been solved for us, but we're gonna solve it using our own number line. We're gonna start with 29 and we're gonna count by tens so we can't count by tens anymore, then we'll start counting by ones. And we know when we find a sum, that just means it's the answer to an addition problem. And let's begin. We're at 29. Let's start counting by tens. We're at 29 plus 10 equals 39. Now we have to count a total of 14, but this was one jump of 10. Now we can't do another jump of 10 because 10 plus 10 would be 20. So now we have to start counting by ones. So after 39, we have to count, since we already counted by 10, we have four more to go. So one, two, three, four. So this is one, another one, another one, another one for a total of four. Now, if we add them up, we have 10 here. This will be 11, 12, 13, 14. So after 39 would be 40, 41, 42, and 43. So... 29 plus 14 equals 43. We started by counting by tens, and we couldn't count by 10 anymore because if we added 10 to 39, we'd have 49, and that would be adding 20, but we only had to add 14. So we had this first 10 over here, and we added 1, 2, 3, 4 for a total of 14. Number two. 36 plus 28. So here's our number line. We're going to start with 36. And we're going to add tens until we can't add tens anymore. So here's our 36, and we have to add 28. So I do one jump of 10. 36 becomes 46. And now that was a jump of 10. Now, we can't pass 28. Can we do another jump of 10 without passing 28? Yes, we can. This is another jump of 10. So now we're at 20. And now 46 becomes 56. Now we have 10, 20, but we have to add 28. We can't do another jump of 10 because that would be 10, 10, and 10. That would be 30, but we cannot pass 28. So now we have to start counting by ones. So here we go. We're at 56. Let's count. We need eight more. So we can count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a total of eight humps, eight jumps. So we already had 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So after 56, we have 50. 7, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So our answer is 64. 36 plus 28 equals 64. And if we wanted to double check our answer, we would simply just add 36 plus 28. 
6 plus 8 is 14. We carry our 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 64. Number 3. Use mental math to find the sum. Draw or describe the strategy you use. So let's use another number line. And we're going to start with 52. And we're going to add 19 to the 52. We cannot pass 19. So we always start by doing jumps of 10. We did a jump of 10. Now this 52 becomes 62. So now let's do, let's see if we can do another jump of 10. We have 10. If we do another jump of 10, that'll be a total of 20. And 20 is too much because we cannot pass 19. So now we have to start counting by ones. So let's start counting by ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine humps because if we did 20, it would be too much. So let's then number them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we have 62. Let's count out 9. After 62 is 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So 71. 52 plus 19 equals 71. Now, if we simply add it vertically, 52 plus 19 we should get the same thing. Two plus nine is 11. We carry our one. One plus five is six. Six plus one is seven. 71. Number four. Number four, 122 plus 306. We're gonna use the same strategy our number line. We're going to start with 122. And instead of counting by 10, since these are bigger numbers, we're going to count by hundreds because tens are going to be too small for these huge numbers. So we start with 122 and we have to add 306. So let's start by we, remember, we cannot do jumps of tens because they're going to be too small. So let's do jumps of 100. We're going to do jumps of 100 each time. So if we have 122 and we do one jump of 100, we'll get 222. And this was a jump of 100. Now... We can't pass 306. Let's see if we can do another jump of 100 without passing 306. If we do another jump of 100, 222 becomes 322. Let's see if we can do another jump of 100. Yes, we can. If we can do another jump of 100. So now, so far, we have 100, 200, 300. Let's see if we can do another jump of 100. If we do another jump of 100, that'll be 400, and that will be too much. So now we have to start counting by ones. So we have 300, 100, 200, 300. So we still have six more to go. So let's start counting by ones, or 
we can do one jump of six. We can do either six jumps or one big jump of six. So, so far, we added 100, 200, 300, and 306. We added the whole thing. So now let's see. The 122 plus 100 was 222 plus the 100 is 322 plus the 100 is 422. Now we're at 422 and we add 6. 422 plus 6 equals 420. Eight. So 300, 122 plus 306 equals 428. Now let's add 122 to 306 and see if our answer is correct. Two plus six is eight. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. So our answer is correct. Number 5. Shelly spent 17 minutes washing the dishes. She spent 38 minutes cleaning her room. Explain how you can use the mental math to find how long Shelly spent on the two tasks. So let's circle our important numbers. 17 minutes was spent washing dishes. 38 minutes was cleaning her room. Now, let's see how we can solve this problem. Hmm, we can, we can use a number line. a number line to add to make sorry 3 jumps of 10 and one jump of eight because we have to get 38 so we do three jumps of 10 that will equal 30 and then we do uh eight jumps of one or one jump of eight to get the total of 38. Number six, it took Marty 42 minutes to write a book report. Then he spent 18 minutes correcting his report. Explain how you can use mental math to find how long Marty spent on his book report. So let's see, 42 minutes to write the book report. 